the agreement that we have is giving us uh, new opportunities to widen our exposure to education in the industrialized world, but to widen that education within a context where our values are the same. The discussion about pluralism that is so important to the world, yes, it is important to the Ismaili Imamat, yes, it is important to Ontario, but it is important for the world that we have a better understanding of how pluralism can work. And I think the language in the agreement is exploring how we can encourage a disposition towards pluralism. I've been working with Yasmin for almost what, seven months now and uh, my experience with uh, Yasmin has really helped out the students a lot. She's, uh, you know, with uh, literacy, there's, uh, there's a lot of uh, differences that I've seen ever since we started working with her. Uh, they have of course brought their valuable expertise, they have worked in different countries and they have uh, a great experience because of this and hence whenever I am with them, whenever I sit with them, whenever I collaborate with them, I end up gaining that knowledge, that pedagogical knowledge that's needed in our classrooms. A bathroom with no shower or tiles, just a hole at the corner to let the water out when you shower. That was the place that I called home. We didn't have running water or electricity, but it was all my mother could afford. You're most powerful because of your education, and your job is to drag people here along with you as high as you go. Don't take what you're given for granted, and don't just appreciate it. Return it back in a thousand other forms. Students uh, were talking not about themselves. Students were talking about how can this world be a better place and what is, what is my contribution now and what will be my contribution in the future. And that actually was a huge uh, effect on me to see those young individuals talking about the big picture instead of just focusing on their studies and what's next for them. <laughs> 